From the heavily anticipated Islam vs. Volkanovsky event to McGregor's return, 2023 is full of huge fights. Still, there's one that's gonna outshine them all. I'm talking about the UFC 285 main event. That's right, John Jones vs. Cyril Gunn might be the fight of the century, and that's a pretty high bar to reach, because it means the fight would have to be better than other classics. I'm talking about big fights like McGregor vs. Diaz. McGregor vs. Poirier. McGregor vs. Khabib. pretty much the Irish brawler's entire career. This is fitting, because back when the Mac was on his way up and Jones was just entering the GOAT conversation, the two had some pretty funny back and forth, and the Notorious would often troll John, making him out to be the UFC's number two guy. Well, unfortunately for the Irishman, Jones's fight versus Gone will likely turn all that on its head, and the real number one of all time will emerge. But what's so interesting about this fight anyway? Why will UFC 285 probably go down in history as one of the best events ever? Well, there are a whole bunch of reasons, and a lot of them have to do with John, like the fact that this will be his big return to the Octagon. I don't think I need to remind anyone of what a big deal this is. We've all been waiting for the GOAT to step back in there, and it's been more than three years now since Dana's Golden Boy has fought, and you best believe the fans are gonna tune in. There's no way this won't be one of the biggest fights of all time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm dying to see if John will win or not, and if he does, I can't wait to find out if it's gonna be a close fight. And the reason is that even though this man is the GOAT, he has a complicated legacy, but all that's doing is making this fight even more exciting, because we all want to know if Bones will live up to his reputation, because as I said, the man's got a checkered past. He's undoubtedly one of the greatest ever. Now he's going for Kimura. It is all over! John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion! I mean, the man was a champion at just 23, and that too in a very competitive division. He has beaten DC, Gustafson, Teixeira, and Chael Sonnen, just to name a few. Yeah, I just named five guys who are considered some of the best to ever do it. I mean, three of them have been champions themselves. If that doesn't clue you into John's greatness, I don't know what will. But as we all know, John had been caught cheating by the end of his run, and his fights were getting closer and closer. I mean, we all saw what happened in the last one against Reyes. Don't get me wrong, he lapped the division, and he didn't lose till the very end. Fix, he just needs to secure the right arm. Now he's going for Kimura. It is all over! It. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion! But the fans did start to wonder about his apparent invincibility. We all want to see him come back and show us he is the greatest of all time. So despite the trouble all his controversies have caused him, the returning superstar might benefit from the shadows of doubt around him. Everyone's going to want to tune in and see whether he crumbles or goes on another incredible championship run. Despite the role that his legacy will play, there's another huge factor in why this fight will be so big. And it's the fact that the match is going to take place at heavyweight. That's right. After teasing a move up to the heavier division, we're finally going to see John Jones move on from light heavyweight. He's going to be in there with the big boys of the UFC, and that is extremely exciting, because even though we won't get to see Bones versus Nganu, his move has opened up the entire division. Yeah, his fight with Gon is the potential first step to the world of MMA, getting to see Bones take on some absolute monsters. Look at this, look for a head and arm choke of the Jiu-Jitsu guy. Wow. Now, the thing is, the problem for Gon is that... Oh, oh there's the tap! There's the tap! Welcome wow. to the UFC, Cyril Gon! I'm talking about guys like Stipe and Blades. Now, that's not to say that any of those fights will be bigger than John's versus Gon, because, as I said, this one's gonna be the fight of the century. Sure, it'll be exciting to see the American superstar take on the heavyweight roster, but all that is riding on UFC 285. The future of a whole division will be decided by this one fight. Plus, we fans 
will see Bones at a much heavier weight for the first time. The novelty of it alone is enough to make this a huge fight. That's right, at the moment everything is a mystery. We don't know how the x Light Heavyweight King style is gonna look. We don't know how he's gonna move. We know nothing. And I don't know about you guys, but that's something that excites me. But guys, it's not just John who makes this fight as amazing as I think it's gonna be. Zero Gone is just as much of a factor as Jones is. The guy is an absolute monster. He also has the footwork advantage as well, I would say. I think the power it certainly goes to Rose and Stroud, and when he lets it go, he's very, very scary. And there's no doubt that he stands at the top of the heavyweight division now that Francis is gone. And seeing the x Light heavyweight king come back against the best guy on the UFC heavyweight roster puts this fight up there. But that's not it. Gone is very good, and the fact that he'd present a challenge to John adds to the mystery of it all. Yeah, we have no idea who's gonna win. Will it be Jones, the UFC's golden boy who everyone wants to win? Or will it be his French opponent, who crushed his last opponent? Honestly, as good as Francis is, Gon is stylistically a worse matchup for the returning American fighter. Think about it. The Frenchman's highly technical and he's also extremely fast. John's essentially going to be facing a bigger, stronger, and faster version of his longtime rival, Daniel Cormier. Yeah, when I put it like that, it makes you a little worried for the MMA GOAT, huh? Bones isn't going to be at a size advantage or a speed advantage, and Gon's going to be the biggest guy he's ever faced. But that doesn't change the fact that the guy is a killer, and he's put away some amazing guys. <laughs> As I already mentioned, no one can say for sure who's gonna win, and I'm not the only one who thinks that. MMA experts like Rogan and Bisbing have expressed the same opinion. They both separately concluded that we can't say how this fight's gonna go, especially the Count. Yeah, he made a whole video about how the American could win and ways in which he could lose. Yeah, according to him, John's superior wrestling, fight IQ, and immense experience were gonna give him the edge, but he made sure to mention that there were factors that were in serious role's favorite too. The Frenchman's extremely fast, and he's been fighting constantly for the last three years. Oh, he's going for it. Not? He's looking for the heel hook. Oh, oh, he gets the tap! No way! Wow! Zero gun <laughs> submission number two! Wow. The same time in which Jones hasn't fought once. Yeah, the ring rust's gonna affect the returning champ, and the in-practice Frenchman's gonna be at a huge advantage. Also, John's body isn't used to the extra weight, and we don't know if he can take a punch from a heavyweight. The light heavyweights he's used to don't have the kind of nuclear power that Gon does. Those were some of the most interesting reasons why Jones versus Gon will be the fight of the century. See you in the next one!